Those were lies, plain and simple. What was it about that very first meeting that made you write a memo when you had not done that with two previous presidents? As I said, a, a combination of things. Uh, a gut feeling is an important overlay on the, but the circumstances that I was alone, the subject matter, and the nature of the person that I was interacting with, and my read of that person. I was honestly concerned that he might lie about the nature of our meeting, and so I thought it really important to document. That combination of things I'd never experienced before, but it led me to believe I got to write it down, and I got to write it down in a very detailed way. Using your words, he might put out a non-truthful representation of that meeting. Now, that's that's right, Senator. And I, I, as I said in my written testimony, as FBI director, I interacted with President Obama, and I spoke only twice in three years uh, and didn't document it. When I was Deputy Attorney General, I had one one-on-one -on -one meeting with President Bush about a very important and difficult national security matter. I didn't write a memo documenting that conversation either. Sent a quick email to my staff to let them know there was something going on. But I didn't feel with President Bush the need to document it in that way. At his press conference on May 18th, the President was asked whether he had urged you to shut down the investigation into Michael Flynn. The President responded, quote, no, no. Next question. Is that an accurate statement? I don't believe it is. In his interview with Lester Holt on NBC, the president said, I had dinner with him. He wanted to have dinner because he wanted to stay on. Is this an accurate statement? No, sir. Did you in any way initiate that dinner? No. He, call, he called me at my desk at lunchtime and asked me, uh, was I free for dinner? The administration then chose to defame me and more importantly, the FBI, by saying that the organization was in disarray that it was poorly led, that the workforce had lost confidence in its leader. Those were lies, plain and simple. 